everyone, welcome to your RE lesson this afternoon. Um, this term we are focusing on being special and being the best and thinking about ourselves in our RE lesson. So we're going to be looking at reasons why we are special and how we have become the best that we possibly can. And um, to start with, we're going to look at this in our RE lesson. So today we're going to understand that people can have different roles and different names depending on where they are and what job they are doing. So hidden underneath all of these green squares are different names and different roles that I might be known as. So just have a think now, what different names do you think I might have? Um, not just the first one that I'm going to show you because... Um, we all know this one that I am known as Mrs Wood at school but can you think what might be hidden under each of these squares of names that I might go by or different roles that I may have whilst I'm out and about or maybe in school so have a think pause the video now and brainstorm and come up with some ideas as to what you think those names might be and then I will reveal them when you've had a go at doing them I hope you've all managed to have a good go. So let's see what all of these words are underneath that I know and I, that I have got different roles and names for. So the first one, as we all know, is mummy. The next one is neighbour. Now, a neighbour is somebody who lives nearby. So people on my street where I live will know me as their neighbour. So that is one of the roles that I have in life. Let's have a look at the next one sister so many of you know that i am a sister to my little brother so he will know me as his sister and that is my role when i see him let's have a look under this one. Oh, teacher so this one teacher links to mrs wood because you all know me as mrs wood and obviously i am your teacher uh, let's have a look at this one next so we have got daughter so I am somebody's daughter um, and obviously that somebody is my mum and dad. Let's have a look at this green box here. Oh, sister-in-law. So I have got a sister-in-law um, and I am also known as a sister-in-law to somebody in my family. Let's have a look at the next one. Oh, colleague. Now that's quite a tricky word. Some of us might not know what a colleague is, but a colleague is somebody who you work with. So in our classroom, my colleague is Mrs Dobbs and in school we've got lots of colleagues, we all work together so all the teachers and all the staff in school are all colleagues of each other so they would know me as a colleague. Let's have a look, only two left, let's see what's left under this one. We've got friend, I know that many, many, many of you can put friend on your chart when you come to do this because you are all friends with each other. So you can add friend onto your chart and finally I am an auntie so I have nephews who know me as their auntie so this is me these are all the names and different roles that I have whether I'm in school or at home or visiting my family these are all the roles that I am known as and when I'm doing those different roles or when I'm um, at home or with my neighbours or with my friends, they all know me in a different way. So I want you to have a think of all the different roles that you have got. So you might be able to say that you're somebody's friend or that you're somebody's neighbour. You might be able to say that you're somebody's sister or daughter or you might be somebody's brother or son. You could also say that you are um, somebody's gymnastics friend or dancing friend or swimming friend. So add in all of the things and all of the different roles that you have when you are at home or when you are with your family. So the first chart I would like you to do is to create a thought shower for yourself. So if you put me in the middle of your thought shower and write all of the different roles that you have got and all of the different names that you have that people know you by. And then once you've completed your thought shower, then have a go at creating a thought shower for another member of your family. So this could be your mummy or daddy, it could be your brother or sister, it could be somebody who lives in your house um, with you, it could be absolutely anybody you want to, it might be your auntie or uncle. 
and for them think of all of their names what would we put on their chart and just think about the different roles and the different names that people have and what makes them special and why are they being their best when they are doing those roles have a go see how you get on with it if you're stuck just give me a quick email and ask and I will look forward to receiving those and finding out a little bit more about yourself and the roles that you have have fun and I will catch up with you tomorrow take care everyone bye